Hey guys, welcome back here. We have an exciting uh, announcement, I guess, but it's kind of become regular for us here. But we have another set of piglets that Rosie has just given birth to. So 11 out so far, which is great news. No stillbirths, which is the first time she hasn't had any yet. So hopefully that keeps on going, but uh, 11 new piglets here. Let's take a look. She's always so exhausted after this. So this is actually the quickest labor that she's had too. I was here two hours ago, just went home to have lunch, came back and 10 of them were already out. So obviously going well, no stillbirths like before is a good sign. So one little kind of runt on the far side there. So I've been kind of holding that one up to, uh, to one of the nipples to make sure it gets milk. It seems to be working well. So happy litter so far. There's one from her last litter there. You can see the size difference. So he's about five months old there. Hey, little guys. Nursing away here. Just had another one out, so we're up to 13 now. And so you can kind of see this guy here is the, the little runt of the uh, litter so far. Something I always like to try and do, we found the best way to get your runts doing okay is just kind of hold them up. If you get their feet so they're on top of uh, the other piglets, they don't feel like they're up in the air too much. And don't mind it put them right up against the nipple and these guys are less than you know a year old so the more help you can give them in that first starting hours and first day get them some milk the better here let's go back to that one let's go back to that one so again he feels like his legs are kind of resting a bit on the other ones almost like he's climbing but he's getting that milk that he probably wouldn't be getting on his own in the first couple hours. That's super important. So we'll probably do that a bunch more time for uh, for him. Give him a better chance of, uh, of survival. Especially two, oh no, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, she's got 14 nipples, 13 pigs. So hopefully uh, she doesn't have more than one more. They like to kind of battle over them as it is. So, but other than that one, that's kind of a runt. They all look like happy, healthy pigs. So you can see this is the field where we have our pigs. Nice big open space here. Two shelters. But if there's one thing I've learned, it's that the pigs are not going to do what you usually want them to. But this is a pretty safe space here. We've got a bunch of ravens around. And you can see it's in the shade. She's made herself a nice little nest here. So this actually works out pretty good. And we are now up to 15 little piglets. which is the most that she's ever had, and uh, no stillbursts, which is great too. So she's been doing well, it's summertime here, they've been fed tons, so that's probably helped as well. And a bunch of happy, healthy little piglets. Well, one's stuck, I'll go free that one. There you go, umbilical cord off. Hi guys, hey little buddy. Hey guys, welcome back. We are, well it's now two days later um, since we first showed you Rosie having her piglets. Uh, and now Queenie has finally started giving birth here as well. So uh, we've got about seven out now and we'll see if we can capture a couple other ones coming out too. How you doing girl? You put some noodles down for her in case she was hungry. The one time she's not interested in food. I love when they fall asleep when they're nursing. So unfortunately, one of the sad things about this is uh, we got here and she was completely laying on top of one of her, her babies that she had crushed obviously when she moved. So uh, we've already had one that didn't make it unfortunately and you always kind of wish that there were things that you could do or if anyone else that raises pigs has, uh, has tricks for that. But there doesn't seem we can be a lot to do to prevent it if they're getting up and switching positions and flopping on top of them. So if you have any ideas or know what works, definitely let us know. 
So of course, like we messaged with Rosie too, got two nice huge fields here for them, two different shelters on the in the fields, but of course they kind of just choose wherever they want to make their nests. So we put a bunch of straw into the shelters and trying to encourage them to do it in there, protect them a little bit more from, uh, from the ravens and some other things, but uh, you're not gonna tell them where to have their babies, that's for sure. Hi guys, welcome back. It has been over a week now since both mamas had their litter. So we just thought we'd do a follow-up check-in. Um, as you saw last time, they were Queenie here, uh, had her litter in that kind of big open area at the back. So we've kind of put that tarp up uh, to protect the piglets from the ravens who are around, as well as give her a bit of shakes. So it was still pretty hot out. So yeah, it's now been 12 days and we have 21 total piglets from both mamas. So let's go check in and have a look. Okay, so of course we set out lots of bedding in their big uh, shelter on the other side of the field there, and that's where they sleep at night. But this seems to be the one they like to hang out and play in all day long. So they're putting on some good weight and all of them look healthy right now, which is great. So pretty cute little 21 piglets now that are 12 days old. Hi. A little more squeamish around uh, adults now than they first were when they were first born. So they have sharp little teeth in there though. So. Hi guys. They're always really curious too. I can smell your butt. Yeah, no. He's nibbling my pant leg. He's a big one, eh? I love they still do their little cuddle puddles. Mm -hmm. Ah, tickles. Stop it. <laughs> What about me in here? I got no food. I got no food. It's okay. I got nothing tasty for you, honey. Sorry. You stink, though. <laughs> no, she's not. She's like, you don't have food. I'm leaving. You can, you can play with them again. Okay, that is it for this week's video. We hope you found this uh, interesting. It's always a super exciting time having new piglets here on the farm. So if you have any questions about uh, raising pigs or what we're doing with these little guys, hey buddy, uh, feel free to leave us a comment down below and like and subscribe and we will see you guys next week. <laughs>